Please Bean holds his most current wife. Georgiana Yoke tells all she truly knows about her secretive husband. The court is shocked by what happens next. Holmes, who had shown no remorse towards Carrie Peitzel's testimony of her dead children lying in the morgue, sobs uncontrollably at the sight of his wife. He was a great manipulator. He does it in court. When the whole place is crying, he probably thought, oh, this is a too much crying this too. So later on, when his ex-wife comes in, he's got to show that I'm not a monster. I can cry and look at everybody else. And so I got to do a couple of these things for the jury, because i got to show them that I'm a real human being. Because otherwise, they're going to see me as having one eye green piece and a hump on my back. And when I don't want them to think that, I want them to think I'm a real guy. But it's a great acting job. The defense closes its case based on final argument alone. There would be no statement from Holmes. The crowd, who had waited so long to hear from Holmes personally, reacts appropriately disappointed. Holmes' trial was kind of the O.J. Simpson trial of the day. It was generated a huge amount of publicity. The case had become an international obsession. Of course, it wasn't seen in the court TV back then, so it couldn't be covered quite as relentlessly. But it was covered very, very extensively. There were two crime books and pamphlets and all kinds of stuff. And Holmes himself had become sort of folk figure almost, you know, the sort of national boogeyman. when not one of the jury members looks at him. In his entire criminal career, this is the moment Holmes never believed would occur. He is found guilty of murder in the first degree. Herman Webster Mudgett, alias H. H. Holmes, would be hanged on May 7th. 